Let's get y'all. Hey, yo, hey, yo, yo. It's B Will back with another video. And today, I'm finna be giving y'all some free game for my clothing brand owners out there, y'all. I'm finna be giving y'all some free game in this video, y'all. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. All right, y'all. So for those that don't know, I'm finna give y'all a little background check on myself, feel me? I'm 17 years old. I have my own clothing brand, feel me? It's called Project PIO. I'll pop it up probably like right here, a little picture or like on my Instagram for me. Really, bro? Anyways, like I was saying, y'all. I'll pop up like a picture maybe like right here of my clothing brand for me y'all go follow my, my, uh, my clothing brand it's called project pio for me uh we just dropped like last month uh now let me show y'all we just dropped like last month you know what i'm saying that was my very first drop it was these t-shirts these self love t-shirts we got the white colorway for me and then we got black right here as well the black did really well for me but yeah Y'all go follow my clothing brand, but I just wanted to, you know, feel me, tell y'all a little bit about, you know what I'm saying, my clothing brand. But let's get into the uh, free game. All right, y'all. The first piece of free game that I'm going to give y'all, whenever y'all place y'all bulk order, make sure y'all send in a sample for your new drop, y'all. That is very, very important. That is a key detail because y'all going to be paying extra for you know another sample for your new drop you feel me man say i pay for the bulk bro they popping fireworks they got everything going on outside my fault y'all but um say i place uh the bulk order for my shirts you know what i'm saying i would add uh, a sample picture all right what am i talking about i would add a sample to my bulk order to add on to the price feel me so i won't have to pay for that separately and that's low-key how you get free samples as well feel me so yeah make sure y'all add you know what i'm saying y'all new sample for y'all new drop into y'all bulk order feel me make your manufacturer make that real quick and stuff it in your bulk order so y'all have a new sample to market and promote for y'all next drop but yeah um that is very very important i didn't do that uh the last like this drop like as i told y'all that those t-shirts were my first drop so I did not do that, but you know what I'm saying it's a learning process. Anything that I learn, I'm gonna share with y'all because on this channel, feel me, it's about I'm gonna do all types of videos, but you know what I'm saying, we're gonna implement clothing and fashion videos as far as you know, clothing brand tips and everything's you know what I'm saying, so we can all grow together, feel me. So anything I learn, I'm gonna share with y'all. So for sure, add, you know what I'm saying, your sample for your next drop into your bulk order that you're gonna place. So yeah, on to the next tip. All right, y'all. My next tip for y'all would be be consistent with marketing y'all like marketing places a big part in whether your clothes sell or not like marketing is a big big part and also i would say for those that you know are not like very creative or like you know the designing type of person go get a graphic designer have someone do it for you you know what I'm saying? You can find designers on Fiverr. You can find designer, graphic designers on Instagram. Mainly Instagram. But Instagram, I'll tell y'all that they be, do be taxing a little bit as far as, you know, selling their designs. Um, Fiverr, you'll get some decent designs. They're way cheaper, though. Feel me? So I would suggest uh, Instagram. But go get a graphic designer. If, you're, if you know that, you know, you're not... You know what I'm saying? The most creative person in the world. You know what I'm saying? You're not that good at designing. Go, like, you know what I'm saying? Get a graphic designer. Have them design it for you. Because the main thing, you know, that goes hand-in-hand -hand with marketing, you have to have a good product. You can't, like, they go hand-in-hand. -hand. You can't have, like, one without the other, to be honest. Like, say you have a great product, but your marketing is, like, trash. Like, you're not going to sell. Like, you have to be able to do both. You know what I'm saying? You have to have a good product. 
You know what I'm saying? And couple that with great marketing as well. You feel me? And you know what I'm saying? It goes vice versa. Say that, you know what I'm saying? You have like the best marketing strategies and you know how to market your stuff, but your product is not good. Like it's not gonna sell, no matter how good your marketing is. You feel me? So having a good product and your marketing goes hand in hand and with making a good product and you know that you're not very creative, go get a graphic designer. As I told you on Instagram, if y'all want a whole video on how to, you know what I'm saying, uh, where to look for graphic designers and how to get one, I'll drop a video for y'all if y'all want that, feel me? I gotta stay more consistent anyway. I got, I'm got i gonna start dropping video after video, feel me? I gotta stay consistent with it. But yeah, I'll for sure drop that video for y'all if y'all want it, but for sure, get a graphic designer. And also, I, I can do a video on, you know what I'm saying, how to market your clothing brand or how I market my clothing brand, you know what I'm saying? Different strategies and tips and things that I do, feel me? I can definitely share that with y'all. But yeah, they go hand in hand and you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have those two. But yeah, on to the next tip. All right, y'all. The next piece of game that I'm gonna share with y'all is do not rush your drops. Like, do not rush your drops. Do not rush. If you do make your own design, as I was telling y'all, like, if, if, you know what I'm saying, you don't have to get a graphic designer, but if you, uh, make your own designs do not rush them it like you know it takes a good minute especially if you're doing it by yourself to make a good design so don't rush it for me take your time with it you know you know just take your time you know because you do not want to rush your drop and you know it end up not doing well in sales and you know all that stuff you know just take your time with it make sure you're perfecting it make sure you know what i'm saying everything's you know what i'm saying to the t how you want it you know and make it a good, you know what I'm saying? Make a good product. You have to make a good product. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going, you know what I'm saying? Back to the last tip. Just, you gotta make a good product. Feel me? And just take your time with your drops. You know, make sure everything's organized. Make sure you have your, you know, your website set up. And you know what I'm saying? That's another thing too. Make y'all website simple. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about, you know what I'm saying? Make your, uh, your website, like have all these, you know, extra enter in intros and, you know, all that stuff. You do not need that at all. Make your website as simple. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you can, you know, um, get creative with it a little bit. You know, decorate it. But keep your website as simple as possible. You feel me? When you drop, your customers are not worried about what your website look like. They're worried about how quick, you know what I'm saying? If your piece is fire and you market it, if you marketed it right and, you know what I'm saying, you got your audience. You know what I'm saying? They're only worried about getting their shirt as quick as possible or whatever you dropped getting a you know what i'm saying item as quick as possible for me they they could care less on what your website look like so keep your website as simple as possible that's another thing for me say you see a random clothing brand on tiktok and they got a tough piece that you want you are not going to care what their website look like you are going to just want that item as quick as possible you know what i'm saying you're going to want to get to the checkout as quick as possible that's what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so to convert those sales keep your website as simple as possible yeah the intro screen or, or whatever that stuff looks cool but like in the long run that's not going to convert you sales it's just like cool points i guess and that doesn't matter at the end of the day for me trying to convert those into sales so yeah keep your website as simple as possible and um also, what was I just talking about? Um, do not do not rush your drops, you feel me? Make sure you take your time, you know what I'm saying, with everything, not just the, the pieces, but you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes as well. Make sure your website is all good. Make sure, you know what I'm saying, just little small details that you have to add that, you know what I'm saying, adds value to your brand. And you know what I'm saying, it shows that you actually care and you're not just trying to rush and just throw something out there for people, you know what I'm saying, to buy when they're not even gonna buy, you feel me? It has to, you know what I'm saying? Make it look like, you know what I'm saying? It took a lot of time. You put a lot of time and effort into it. But yeah, y'all, on to the next. All right, y'all. This next tip is for, you know what I'm saying, my people that are starting a clothing brand or like just have recently got into the game, like myself, kind of. Um, there is not gonna be a lot of support. I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's not gonna be a lot of support. Like, people are, are going to support you, but, like, they're not going to support you, support you, as in cop your stuff, feel me? And I've learned that the hard way, feel me, um, with my first drop. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I converted sales, but, like, you know what I'm saying? People are going to lie to you. People are going to cap, like, right in front of your face. They're going to be like, you know what I'm saying? As soon as you come out with stuff, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm copping for sure, bro. I'm copping for sure. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm guilty of it. Well, 
nah, I'm not guilty of this, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people would just lie straight up to your face. Like, you, you, um, come out with a new design. Oh, bro, drop that, drop that. I'm copying immediately. Like, I don't know why it's like that, bro, but like, they literally just straight up lie to your face. Like, and it's, it's all right. It comes with the game, feel me? You know what I'm saying? But you, when you starting off, bro, like, people are not going to support you for what you're doing, like, until it's up there, feel me? Like, and that's just facts. That's just facts. You know what I'm saying? I've already got a little taste of it, and it's true. Like, people are not going to support you until you're up there for real. You're starting to, like, really blow. Like, people are not going to be there for you. And, and you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not saying that to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Give me pity or whatever. Like, it comes with the game. Like, literally, that's what it's about. And I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Tell y'all, warn y'all, because people are going to say they cop, but don't, like... Like, I'm not saying don't believe them, but, like, don't get your hopes up because nine times out of ten, they not, they're not going to buy. They're not going to buy. Like, they're not going to buy, bro. They just, I don't know why they just say that. Like, it's like, bro, it's okay, bro. Just say, like, you don't have to say that you're going to cop. Like, just say, I don't know. You don't have to even say anything. Like, but I don't know why they try to, like, just get your hopes up saying they're going to cop and then they don't. So, yeah, that's another thing, y'all. People are going to say they're going to, like, they're going to say they're going to cop, but they're they're really not. So don't get your hopes up. Just stay down. You, there's also another thing. You got to be your number one supporter, feel me? Like, if you got a sample or you got a couple samples for your drop and to market, that's also another way to market, feel me? Being, you know what I'm saying? Like, wearing your stuff, actually. Like, if you in school right now, you if you're, um, you know what I'm saying? If you're young and you're still, like, you're in school, Wear your stuff, feel me? Like, get get it in front of people's eyes, not only, you know what I'm saying, on social media, but, you know what I'm saying, in real life as well, you know what I'm saying? If you're at school, you know what I'm saying, tell people about it, tell people about it, feel me? Um, also, another thing I would say, get business cards, feel me? I got these business cards. I showed y'all. Uh, I got these business cards um, on Vistaprint. I got these business cards on Vistaprint, feel me? Show your little cards that you got. You know what I'm saying? Slide them on. Make sure, you know what I'm saying? You got to get your brand in front of people's eyes, not only on social media, but like in real life as well. Feel me? Because these are real people. You know what I'm saying? Potentially, that could be wearing your clothes. So, you know what I'm saying? Get it in front of people's eyes in real life. And you got to be your number one fan, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to think, you know what I'm saying? Although your piece may not be the best, you got to think that it's the best. Feel me? And rock it confidently like it's the best thing in the world like it's some gucci or some louis vuitton or whatever for me you gotta be your number one supporter and that's the most important thing because like i said before people are not going rock with you until you up and that's just the truth bro but yeah um on to the next tip all right y'all for this next tip i'm about to give y'all i would say try to find your brand aesthetic like try to find like the theme of your brand, feel me? Like, is it like, like, does your brand promote love? Does it promote like stopping violence? Does it promote whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just try to find like your niche and like, like your theme kind of for your brand, feel me? Like, for instance, my brand is like, well, it's streetwear, but like, I don't know, like, Cause I just got into the game, like I've like, and it, and it may take a while. Like as for me, like I just dropped, so the niche for my brand is kind of just you know stuck at streetwear right now. You feel me? And you know what I'm saying this progresses, and you kind of find your niche as you know what I'm saying you get into the game more and more. You know what I'm saying as the years go. You know what I'm saying. So I'm still kind of still finding my niche, but like start to just think about it. You know what I'm saying what you would like your clothing brand theme or like aesthetic to be like. If you want, like, the dark opium, you know what I'm saying, grungy clothes type of, you know what I'm saying, aesthetic. Or do you want to promote, like, love, you know what I'm saying? Your stuff is about just positivity, you know what I'm saying, and motivation type stuff. Or, you know what I'm saying, like, that one-of-one one streetwear, just one-of-one one type pieces, you feel me? Just trying to find your niece and, like, um... Like, um, on Instagram, with your clothing around on Instagram, like, when you're taking pictures, you know what I'm saying, in your stuff, like, also with the background, make sure, like, your background and, like, the photo 
matches your clothing brand aesthetic. You feel me? That, you know what I'm saying? It just makes everything look smooth and more professional. And it just gives off that little aesthetic that, you know what I'm saying, people may be into. And that gives you more customers, which can, may convert into more sales. You feel me? So just try to find your niche and try to just stick with that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be all over the place, you know what I'm saying, with your stuff. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to one drop have, you know what I'm saying, a t-shirt that says, you know what I'm saying, um, stop the violence. And then, you know what I'm saying, your next drop got guns and, you know what I'm saying, all that stuff in it. Feel me? So, yeah, just keep, try to keep your niche, try to keep your niche, like, consistent. You know what I'm saying? And just try to keep, like, the same theme type. Feel me? But, yeah, on to the last tip. All right, y'all, for the last tip I'm finna give y'all, I would say do not compare yourself to anybody else. Feel me? And this is with anything that y'all do for real. You know what I'm saying? This doesn't even, you know what I'm saying, apply just, you know what I'm saying, about clothing brands or just fashion or whatever. This applies to anything that you do, y'all. Do not, do not, do not compare yourself to anybody ever. Like, y'all ever heard of the quote, comparison is the thief of joy. And what that means is like, when you compare yourself to other people, like, you're not going to be happy with yourself because there's always going to be someone out there that has it better than you. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be that one person that got more money than you. There's always going to be that one person that got more shoes, clothes, you know what I'm saying? Just materialistic things or whatever, you know what I'm saying, more than you. And you're going to start comparing yourself to them and, you know what I'm saying, get down on yourself for no reason. So never, ever, ever compare yourself, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying, to convert it over to uh, clothing brands, do not compare yourself to other clothing brands, especially if you just get into the game. Why? You know what I'm saying? That doesn't even make sense. Like, think about it. Why are you comparing yourself to a clothing brand that's been doing this for years and you just started last week? Like, why are you comparing yourself? Or, you know what I'm saying, you see someone online or on the internet that's the same age as you, that got more more things than you, or, you know what I'm saying, has achieved more than you. You know what I'm saying? You should never ever compare yourself because, you know what I'm saying, everybody has their own journey. Everybody has, you know what I'm saying, their own things to get through. Everybody has their own time, you know what I'm saying? And if, you know what I'm saying, you see someone doing good, you should just congratulate them and use them as motivation, you know what I'm saying, to do better, you know what I'm saying? You should never compare. If anything, you see someone doing good, that should be motivation for you, you know what I'm Anyways, that should be motivation for you, you know what I'm saying, to get on your stuff and, you feel me, lock in and start, you know what I'm saying, grinding, you feel me? So don't ever, ever, ever compare yourself. Don't ever compare um, your clothing brand to another clothing brand, even if y'all start at the same time. And, you know what I'm saying? The clothing brand that you're comparing yourself to is doing just way better than you. It doesn't matter. It's that that all that means is that it's their time and it's not yours. You feel me? You gotta stay down so you come up. You feel me? And keep grinding. And if they're doing way better than you, you use them as motivation, you know what I'm saying, to get up. And that's another thing with as far as motivation, feel me, like you can't rely on motivation, like at all. You gotta rely on discipline. Like, you know what I'm saying? You comparing yourself to big big or you compare yourself to clothing brands that are doing way better than you but you know what i'm saying behind the scenes you're not even doing anything to work towards your goals or you know what i'm saying to make yourself any better than what you are right now feel me so i would just say do not compare yourself feel me if anything look at those you know what i'm saying successful clothing brands as motivation to get where they are you know what i'm saying be disciplined Work hard, you know what I'm saying? Grind, work on your stuff, be better. And you're going to get to the top just like them and wait on your time, you know what I'm saying? Stay down till you come up. Your time is coming, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has their own time. You just got to wait on yours. But yeah, y'all, I think that's going to end off this video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this free game. I dropped a few gems on y'all. I ain't going to lie, you feel me? I just, you know what I'm saying, sat down, recorded this video. I think it's like 9 o'clock at night. Feel me? I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been inconsistent. Um, I gotta start being consistent. Like, feel me? I want to take this. I'm I'm taking YouTube seriously. Feel me? So I'm trying to make this a consistent, full thing, as well as my clothing brand and just the whole social media thing in general. So I gotta lock in and stay consistent. And I'm holding myself to that standard. I'm holding myself accountable. We are gonna do it. Feel me? So I thank you all for watching this video. Hopefully, a young miss.
hopefully, you know what I'm saying, y'all learned something new. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I helped y'all out. But I thank y'all. Make sure, once again, y'all like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.